Hello, I'm Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to do a grass text effect. This is uh, the starting text and by the end of the tutorial you'll learn how to do this. This is the before and this is the after. Let's start. First of all you'll need a picture with a grass, with a grass texture and I found one on a free uh, image website, Pixabay and uh, I'll provide you the link in the description below so you can start uh, playing with it. So I already copied the picture. I'm going to edit and paste. This is the texture. Uh, I'll move it to the left and um, I'm going to duplicate this layer because I need the texture to be uh, thinner and uh, I'm holding shift and I move the second layer to the right. Hold shift on the layers here and right click and then merge layers. So we have one layer from the previous two layers. Now take the text tool and write let's say grass. Make the text bigger by holding Ctrl and T and drag. Okay, something like that. Hold Ctrl and click on the text. And now go on the grass layer and mask it. Click on the mask. Hide the text layer. And below you have uh, the grass inside the text. Now, what I want to do is create uh, an idea that uh, the letters are um, full inside the grass. So, take the brush tool and now go to leg legacy brushes, to the default brushes and search for um, this brush which uh, looks like a plant, like a tree, okay? Uh, great, now let's click properties and here on the right you have to uncheck color dynamics. And now if you right click on the screen you can see this uh, uh, rotating arrow. You really need this one so you can uh, mask unmask actually, unmask the grass in a certain angle. So now be sure that you are on the layer mask, on the mask and uh, if we use the brush on the side of the letter, as you can see it does a really really nice job. But we really need some angles because we cannot use the same angle here, you see, it's not really working. So we'll keep this one to do the top part or the parts that uh, they are horizontal yeah if you if you want and i think it will be better you can lower the size of the brush and brush on the side of the letter Now, if you finish with the horizontal uh, drawings, now we need to change, we need to rotate the, the, the brush. So you can do this by uh, moving this arrow to the left or right. Okay, so we are using that arrow and, okay, let's do the brush bigger or even more. Yeah, I think this is it. So it matches the other uh, brushes.
Okay, I think now it look it looks really nice. And uh, I noticed something when we merge the the layers. Um, you can see this is the half where they were merged. So what we can do? So uh, this doesn't look that bad. So we can take the the clone stamp tool, click uh, here, and then draw around here and of course on the top take another uh, point from here with alt and then draw here so that looks much better now all right let's apply um, a layer style click on bevel and emboss zoom in and uh, what we can do is um, change here so you the highlight mode and the shadow mode should be soft light both of them yeah if they are normal the color is too much is too intense so we need soft light and also here if the shadow will be black it is too much so we need soft light to both yeah so you can use those settings depends on the size of your text um, as you can see uh, I want it to be uh, not that uh, small let's make it uh, bigger and uh, the emboss should not be really that visible yeah I think I think it looks nice okay now let's add a gradient click here choose gradient and uh, let's search for a green one This one, reverse, radial, and now let's change this uh, color to a lighter one. Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's move this one underneath, and this is the final result. Let's see before and after. Let's group this, those one into one group. Hold shift, click both of them, click here on the group, and now let's hide this is uh, the text let's move it underneath and this is the final result before and after so this was the tutorial from today i hope you like it if you do please subscribe to my channel see you next time